Unraveling the phrase, tie a knot. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel where we make learning English fun and easy. Today, we're diving into a commonly used phrase in English, tie a knot. We will explore its meanings, uses, and the contexts in which it can be applied. So, whether you're a beginner or looking to brush up on your English idioms, stay tuned to master this versatile phrase. The phrase, tie a knot, initially has a very literal meaning. To tie a knot means to interlace strings or ropes in such a way that they are secured together. This action is fundamental in various tasks such as securing goods, making jewelry, or even when getting dressed, like tying a knot with your tie or shoelaces. It's a physical action that can be seen and learned quite easily. Beyond its literal sense, tie a knot is often used metaphorically. In English, we say people tie the knot when they get married, signifying the binding commitment they are making to one another. It's a playful and traditional way to talk about marriage, imagining the couple's lives as ropes joining together in a sturdy knot. In reminder situations, sometimes, people tie a physical knot in a string or a handkerchief as a reminder to remember something important. It's like creating a physical note to oneself. In expressions of difficulty, we also use the phrase when describing a difficult situation. For instance, if someone says, this problem has me in knots, they mean that the problem is very complicated, like tangled ropes. In achievements and goal setting, the expression, tie a loose end, is a variation of knot tying which means to finish off a task completely, leaving no part incomplete. It's often used in the context of finalizing work or securing the last details of a project. Let's practice with some example sentences. They tied the knot last summer in a beautiful ceremony. I can't figure out this math problem. It's got me tied up in knots. Before going on vacation, make sure to tie up all your loose ends at work. When learning idiomatic expressions like tie a knot, it's essential to pay attention to context. The meaning can change significantly based on how it's used in a sentence. That's why listening to native speakers and reading various texts can help in understanding the full range of an expression's use. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has helped clear up the meaning and uses of tie a knot for you. Remember, learning a language is like tying a series of knots. Each one strengthens your understanding and holds the bigger picture together. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Happy learning, and see you next time!